Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge. How are you doing this evening, Ted? Yes, good to see you, Keith. Are you feeling okay today? You know, uh, every day, just a little bit better. And then um, I read the newspaper and yeah. I see what's going on. And, you know, a, a lot of people are not getting the information of what's going on in this Sussman trial. And I thought maybe you and I could take uh, the next few days and try to break this down quite simply. And, and if I might just give a little bit of an overview and then turn you loose on some of these topics, Ted, but for those folks that are listening to the Nightly Nuge, Durham, an assistant U.S. attorney, did an investigation into the Russia-Trump collusion issue. And I'm going to give some absolute facts, not Keith Mark's opinion, not the Nightly Nuge's opinion, and not Ted Nugent's opinion. These are facts. Do your homework and you'll see this is true. What has been proven is that there was no, that means zero Trump Russian collusion. What we also know is that the Obama administration through the CIA and the FBI spied on Trump and the Trump campaign. We also know that the Russia fake dossier was ordered and paid for by Hillary Clinton and her campaign. How do we know this? Because in the Durham investigation, they indicted a former Russian operative um, for doing that on behalf of the Clinton campaign. What we also know is from testimony that broke late bombshell testimony late last week, Ted, that Hillary Clinton authorized that information to be passed to the media and to the FBI. How do we know that? Because that is the crux of the Sussman trial. He was a top campaign lawyer for the Clinton campaign. He took the information to the FBI, knowing it was false. And what did the FBI do, Ted? Even though they knew it was false, they opened up their own investigation and spent two years running with this false information, smearing Donald Trump and those around him. And how do we know that's true? Because an FBI agent was indicted and has pled guilty to what I just said. A lot to unpack there, Ted, but uh, give us your take. Well, number one, Keith, uh, I hope everybody knows how dedicated you are to this experiment in self-government, to the American dream, and that you've been a lifetime lawyer, a professional lawyer and that you've dug into the research, you've dug into the evidence. We like research, we like evidence, we like facts, we like documentation. And you just laid out and articulated the irrefutable evidence and facts and data in this investigation, where I can conclude we can continue to name names and uh, examples and, and different steps throughout this investigation and this court case. Number one, thank God you have researched it and got all the documentation. Number one, A, thank God there still is a court system existing in the United States of America that goes after the truth, that goes after the real evidence. But the heartbreak is that the executive, the legislative, and the judicial branches of the government that were set up by our founding fathers so brilliantly to be safeguards against corruption and criminality by any arm of the U.S. government. Now all three branches are one big gang. You have laid out the evidence. It is cruel. It's arbitrary. It's punitive. It's capricious that these people are getting away with it, Hillary Clinton, James Comey, and that we hope, and not only that, but the media that is hiding this information, that'll call, that constantly identifies evidence, irrefutable, documented, corroborated evidence as disinformation. Here's an Uncle Ted tech tip on the nightly news. When the media calls something disinformation, it's important information. When they throw out information from such court cases as this and show the documentation, show the documents, show the video footage, listen to the testimony, see the, see the conviction rate. 
That's information. So, Keith, thank you for digging deep. Thank you, everybody who supports the Nightly Nude, because I'm just a guitar player, but I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a grandfather, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a farmer, I'm a rancher, I'm a hunter, I'm a guide, I'm an outfitter, I'm an employer, I'm an entrepreneur in the asset column. I get up early and I make sacrifices and take risks, and that relates to the best of the Americans out there. And the best of the Americans, we are heartbroken. Here's the last point I want to get from you, Ted. How concerned are you that the Obama administration, who you notice the media is not covering this at all, uh, how concerned are you that it's been proven that the Obama administration spied on candidate Trump and then later President Trump? And my thought is if they can do it to someone that powerful, um, they can do it to us. How concerned are you with that behavior? You know, a lot of times uh, as the purveyor and the articulator of truth, logic and common sense and the evidence to support it out there, a lot of your probes are rhetorical. And I appreciate that because we always have to ask questions. Yesterday on the nightly news, we identified how this government and media and academia and Hollywood and big tech is on the fast track to turn in America into a third world country. Well, guess what third world countries are notorious for? That's treasonous, anti-human behavior by the corrupt governments in charge. We are on the fast track to a third world nation destruction of the greatest quality of life in the history of the world because everything that is epitomized by a government spying on other political parties is the earmark the trademark the 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 horror of third world country corruption we are seeing it before our very eyes and we the people better be raising hell once again everybody should join me at huntthevote.org huntthevote.org it's pretty simple this is how we fight back and also at hunternation.org we are pledging to vote our core family beliefs god family country law and order if you don't vote that and demand legal honest votes which we'll get into the 2000 mule debacle here in the another nightly news we the people can do this but not if you're sleeping not if you're not engaged not if you're sitting around the coffee table complaining you need to complain to your elected employees and that's what huntthevote.org and hunternation.org represents please my friends engage this quality of life an american dream is worth the effort hey ted i'm excited that our winner of the detroit muscle cd signed by yourself today is james and i'll pronounce it straley s-t-r-a-l-e-y from the great state of indiana shout out to our friend bobby knight up there in indiana a uh, great man great patriot but James wins the signed CD because he went to huntthevote.org, huntthevote.org, and he signed the pledge. And where it said Patriot Code, he wrote in TNN USA. And if you want to win one of these Detroit Muscle signed Ted Nugent CDs, go to huntthevote.org, fill out the pledge, and put in the Patriot Code TNN USA. You could win this incredible CD. Uh, Ted, uh, tomorrow night, we're going to continue this uh, theme and the information that's coming out of this uh, Sussman trial. And I want to get your take specifically on Hillary Clinton's involvement. Uh, We'll talk to you tomorrow night on the Nightly Nooch. Thank you, Keith. (laughs) 